Hey guys, Heidi from Boyboss Mama here. I am doing a different kind of video for you guys today. It is a homeschool chit chat video, and I'm joining my friend Hannah from Pepper and Pine to just kind of do like a little chit chat. Let's uh, talk homeschool, let's talk summer, and just kind of just talk to you guys. It's a kind of different kind of video for me because I'm not planned. I have nothing planned except that I wrote some keywords to discuss in this video with you guys. But I think I'm good at this because I talk to my girlfriends all the time on Marco Polo. <laughs> and just to chat throughout the day. We talk all the time throughout the day. And it's something I could do as far as like when I schedule something, when I schedule a video. Um, sometimes I get tongue twisted or I get like little flustered. <laughs> so that's one thing I want to talk to you guys about. To you guys about. It's just kind of like I wish I could redo videos but you guys. I try to find pockets of time between the pockets of time that I have with my kiddos and the memory on my phone. And yes, I am using my phone. I have to invest in a camera, I know. But between that and the memory on my phone, I, whatever I can muster it up for you guys, I do. And sometimes I do great. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I could do this video better. But if I don't, I don't post it, it will not happen. So it's like, okay, I'm growing, right? There's so many things that I have said that I wish I could take back in some videos and I have not been able to edit it out because otherwise it just makes no sense. <laughs> My videos don't make any sense. So um, I'll give you a good example. I was just thinking about this because I was planning my son's um, science curriculum uh, yesterday and I was looking for um, more coloring pages on his science curriculum because in the video that I did where I did like an in-depth review of his science curriculum, um, I said that there was coloring pages per lesson but there wasn't per lesson it was per unit so it's one coloring page for five lessons and I was like why don't I have a lot of coloring pages I'm like a little confused <laughs> and it's because it's one coloring page per unit and the kids are supposed to just color a little bit at a time as you're teaching them and reading them reading to them the lesson I'm doing the kids lunch so I'm like, oh, I said that wrong in that video. You know, stuff like that that I wish I could take back. I, there really is things that I wish I could take back. I have my dishes almost done, but I don't have a dish thing. Okay, I'm sidetracking. Okay, see, this is what I do. Okay, um, so this is just a topic that I was just thinking about, like, that I wish I could take back. And it's kind of like, you know, you guys, I am learning how to communicate through YouTube. I am learning how to articulate what I really want to say to you guys and sometimes I fumble I do um, and I just love whoever has stuck with me this far and appreciates me for who I am I really am loving my viewers and uh, just this community here so yeah I'm growing you guys and hopefully I can invest in a camera and really um, do some good videos and kind of like not worry about my memory so much and rush through videos and just kind of continue to you know um, what's that called? Um, uh, record and record and just, you know, use what I can from the video. This is what I want to do. Um, anyway, so let's go back to homeschool planning. So, um, we are, I'm trying to do a loop schedule. All right. This is, a uh, something that I, I really want to do this year. It's something that I've done before. I just never called it a loop schedule. You kind of just pick up where you left off. But sometimes when you guys schedule on your planners and you schedule Monday through Friday and you miss the day you it kind of throws you off I've heard that a lot from homeschool mamas so I don't do the Monday through Friday um, scheduling now I do um, like kind of something like this this is my loop schedule <laughs> I came up with this through my Excel and I have something just the same in my planner um, in my planner, I, I just plan to keep record of a lot of things that I can't keep record on this. This is more for like checking off per day, like to make sure that I did this, the, um, the right um, subjects for that thing. Um, but I'm having a problem kind of figure out how do I fit in a loop schedule with my fun, fun Fridays because I have relaxed Fridays with my kiddos. They do less work and we do poetry time. So I'm just trying to figure out how do I put that together with the loop schedule. I don't know. Have you guys done that? Am I thinking too much into it? I don't know. I feel like puzzled by it. <laughs> so if you do a loop schedule and you still do Relax Fridays, please let me know how you do it. I'm guessing you just kind of pick up what you left off. So because we do, um, what is that called? Let me drink coffee for my cute mug. Look how cute. <laughs> mm. Because we do, um, my house is a mess, I know. Because we do, um, what is that called? Um, 
quarter to time. I was gonna say something and it escaped my mind. You see, you guys. Oh my lord. So because we do the fun Fridays and porch tea time, and we do language arts and Bible time on Fridays, the only one that would suffer the most would be math, I guess, because math we're doing four times a week, and we're doing reading, language arts and math uh, four times a week and Bible. So I don't know. Just if you guys um, have done the loop schedule with the fun Fridays, I would love to know how it comes together for you guys. Um, but... So let's talk about summer. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you guys my backyard because it is one of the things that we spend a lot of money on this summer. And um, it is why we don't have a vacation scheduled this year, which I love vacations, you guys. It's such a sunny day, oh my goodness. It's so sunny today, it's gorgeous. Um, but because we spend a lot of money in our backyard, um, you know, we have we don't have vacations. But we are enjoying our gorgeous backyard. Like it's been such a blessing, it's, it's beautiful. We even, we got one of those like we invested to enjoy this backyard and of course on really hot days it's really hard but I wanted to show you my peach tree and it's coming along look how beautiful that peach is so I love peaches I love mangoes I'm a wild fruit kind of girl or a tropical fruit uh, kind of girl um, and I also show you our our crops here so those one of those things that I'm enjoying a lot this summer is our backyard and our crops our fruits that we're doing um for my husband's labor and he's the one with the green thumbs not me i cannot take credit but i do water these things okay <laughs> so i take credit for that this is my tomatoes look how cute my tomato plants they're coming along we have baby tom well those are baby tomatoes and then we have regular tomatoes and we also have an eggplant that is coming along we already used the eggplant from here but we have white ones back there you see and then we have some flowers here. That's a burning bush or a red bush. I forgot the name of this thing. I think it's a burning bush. More flowers back there. And then this is more tomatoes. So we definitely have lots of tomatoes. Another flower. This is an apple tree. And I'll show you over here. We have mint, we have basil. So I'm gonna be doing pizza very soon to use this beautiful basil. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> the rabbit scared me. <laughs> Why are you jumping little guy? And uh, this is my my mint. I think he's hungry. Okay, and on this side we have chili peppers, chilies, and we have jalapenos, which are awesome. Look how big this guy is. Wow, he's beautiful. We have scallions, and we have um, squash, which is coming along. It's kind of like dead already. I think we're having one more squash here somewhere. I can't see it. Um, so yeah, this is, and we have rosemary right there. So it's hot, you guys. Oh, it is hot back here. I'm loving it. So this is our backyard, and I'm gonna get some food for the rabbit. I think he's hungry, my poor guy. Um, and it's how we're spending most of our summer, which is great. We love barbecuing. Um, so my summer bucket list, summer bucket list for my kiddos, it was to take them to like a water park, a state fair. There was a few things that I wrote in my summer bucket list. Let me see if I can find it here real quick for you guys. Um, I think I shared it somewhere. I think I shared it in one of my videos. I don't remember. But, um, so we haven't been able to do, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm out of focus. We haven't been able to do a lot of those summer bucket lists because of the, you know, money that we've been investing in our home. And, um, I gotta get good at, good at this vlogging thing. My camera's all over the place. <laughs> if I can find the summer bucket list, I'll, I'll share with you guys. Okay, so, um, I had a fix my camera okay so um movie under the stars i want to do movie under the stars with my kiddos i maybe we could go today i think there's a place we can go on wednesdays today's a wednesday so my bucket list was very simple my hair's falling apart and um it was play in the rain which we did uh water park which we haven't water balloon fight which we, which we did we did the water balloon fight uh camping in the backyard which we will be doing um but I think we're waiting for September for that one, right before the fall starts. Um, we have all the camping equipment, we just have to just do it. Um, and then movie under the stars, which I wanna do with them, and a state fair. So that was my bucket list, and I'm still trying to do my bucket list, you guys. If I don't do it, it's okay. Things happen, but I really wanted to do it something like this for my kiddos, because we always do a water park every year. But like I said, you guys, a lot of our uh, finances have been spent 
in our renovations and, and that's okay you know so what else I could talk to you guys about my kitchen is a mess um planning I'm trying to do um, some planning uh, for my homeschool and I did some binders that I'm gonna do a video for you guys I like the whole morning binder thing um, and what I'm doing is I'm combining my binder with my language arts and math um, so that they'll have a like a consistency with the binders and it's just not just like the binder by itself but it's more used throughout the school day so um, I'll share that with you guys soon and I'm hoping that you guys are having a great summer. Now, where I live, the summer here is from June, July, and August. Um, so September comes and it's like the cold weather starts coming and then we have full-blown November. It's super cold. So that's where I live. So that's why we have to enjoy our summer, those three days. And that's why I take off the entire time to, um, you know, have fun with my kiddos. So I'm doing lunch for them right now, you guys. I'm gonna leave that here. I think I spoke enough. <laughs> and I'm all over the place. I am learning how to do this vlog thing. I have not done it um, like this, uh, a video. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, let me know in the comments down below. When is your summer over? Do you have the same summer as me? And I cannot wait to start homeschool because I do love that whole um, beginning of homeschool feel, the routines the learning and opening new books I love that so I have something special planned for my kiddos um, and oh one more thing for the summer also I forgot to tell you guys there's been so much going on because we have birthdays and anniversaries so my husband and I's anniversary is coming up this week we're gonna be 10 years married and it has just been a marvelous thing we have learned so much from each other um, we have learned about each other um, and we continue to learn and I know God has been working on us to help us um, just have a strong love bond and um, I love that I love him he's my best friend we fight like everybody else we argue here and there but I cannot um, see myself without him he is my honey bun so I am just blessed to have those 10 years uh, under my belt and really proud that God has brought us this far so I just wanted to share that with you guys um, that, that's one thing we're gonna be celebrating and I cannot wait to take some time off to be with him just him I have friends helping me with the kids so it's gonna be a fun time so anyways you guys thanks so much for watching this video um, I hope you enjoy my craziness chit chat here and uh, do join in I'm gonna link Hannah's uh, video down below and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one